We are now just two days away from the total solar eclipse and several cities are welcoming people from across the world. Ennis has spent a long time preparing for the celebration. It is in the center of the path of totality. Box first Amelia Jones live with a look at how people there have been getting ready. Amelia. Hey Blake, with two days from totality, people are starting to make their way to Texas. After weeks of preparation, the city of Ennis is ready to welcome thousands for Monday's once in a lifetime event. Downtown Ennis kicked off the weekend with an eclipse celebration. There was live music, food trucks, and games. The path of the solar eclipse makes Ennis a top destination. The city is expected to experience the longest totality at 4 minutes and 23 seconds. It's one thing, it seems like the whole state of Texas has really rallied around. Mm -hmm. Everyone is so excited about it. Yeah. It's covering so much of our state. Mary Beth and Jeff Pappas drove down from Dallas to stay at the Range Vintage Trailer Resort in nearby Bristol to experience the eclipse. You guys do know, though, you could walk outside your house in Dallas to see it, right? It's part of the experience, though, yeah. being here. The Pappas pulled out all the stops for the once-in-a-lifetime event, including custom-made koozies, hats, and they brought their own drinks to celebrate. We have eight beer, Troy Aikman's beer, because of course it's going to be April 8th. The range has 22 sites for people to stay in an Airstream on the property. Owner Sarah Beauregard says they sold out in half a day for the solar eclipse weekend. This is really cool that so many have come just for one special reason. So we're all kind of bonded in the idea that we're very excited about it. While the Pappas didn't have to travel far, other guests came from England, Washington, and Colorado. Several of our guests are very into the eclipse. They're bringing their own telescopes and things like that. And uh, we all have our glasses ready. Every guest will get a commemorative t-shirt too. The forecast calls for clouds on Monday, but these folks are optimistic. We feel like we will end up seeing a little bit. The clouds will, will part and we will end up seeing the actual eclipse. Yep. But even just the four and a half minutes of darkness, like real darkness, uh, I think will be amazing regardless. Since the weather could pose some visibility issues, it's hard to predict the exact number of people who will be in Ennis come Monday. The city anticipates anywhere between 50,000 to 200,000 visitors. We're embracing it. We hope the weather works out. If it doesn't, it's still gonna be an amazing experience. So, and a lot of fun. Most definitely. The total solar eclipse is expected to pass over the city of Ennis at 1.40 p.m. on Monday. Fox 4 will have a crew there as part of our solar eclipse coverage.